Suspected serial bank robber is back in jail. And on your side's Beth Rousseau live in Pinellas County where the man dubbed the I-4 bandit set to face a judge for his latest alleged crime. Good morning, Beth. Morning, Chris and Avery. David Bratcliffe is suspected of more than a dozen bank robberies from right here in the Bay Area all the way to Orlando. Police say that his latest hit happened here at the Wells Fargo in Clearwater. David Radcliffe is the man police know as the I-4 bandit, suspected of robbing as many as 19 banks across Central Florida in the 90s. Apparently this is a man who doesn't learn his lesson very well about the federal criminal justice system. Video from Eagle 8 HD shows investigators responding to the Wells Fargo in Clearwater Tuesday morning when they say the serial bank robber struck again. They tell us a detective saw him getting gas nearby, but he sped off when a deputy tried to pull him over. Eventually, the sheriff's office helicopter tracked him down in Bel Air Beach, where he was trying to steal a truck. The owner fought him until a canine caught up with him. He runs from the scene. He's dropping money everywhere. According to investigators, Radcliffe admitted to being the I-4 bandit, responsible for robbing all those banks decades ago. One would be hopeful that maybe this time he goes to prison for a long, long time and perhaps never gets out to do these kinds of crimes again. In addition to the robbery here at the Wells Fargo in Clearwater, Ratcliffe is suspected of two other robberies in the past month, one at a bank in Temple Terrace and the other at a bank in St. Petersburg. He is set to face a judge for first appearance today at 1.30. We'll have updates for you here on air and on the WFLA app. We're live in Clearwater this morning. Beth Russo, 8 on your side.